hey, look, Kyber AI can turn this image into this insane AI generated video. But how can you use this to grab people's attention and make better videos? What's the difference between Kyber AI's three main features? How do you actually turn text to video, image to video, and video to video? And are they any good? I'll show you everything step by step for every feature so you can create higher quality videos faster to grab people's attention. And by the end of this video, I'll make an entire AI music video from scratch and I'll share how many videos can you generate for free. Step number one, go to Kyber AI because this is the website that we'll be signing up through. As you can see, you can see the gallery as well as all the features that I'll be covering in this video. Now, all you need to do is click on start free trial. You can enter an email address and password, or you can sign up with Google or Apple. Now that you're on the inside, you'll be greeted by this screen. There's three different ways to generate a video like flipbook, motion, and the transform. You can upload media image, audio, which you need pro for as well as video. But I want to show you what is it actually capable of making. So let's click on the gallery. Here is one example of an angel like character transforming in a flipbook style. This one, they started with an image and then transforming. It looks so, so cool. Really like how this one is turning out. And it's actually 15 seconds. So you get a lot of length on this. It's just being more and more beautiful, which is absolutely amazing. Here you can see another type of style as well as the prompt. You can see that it's flipping through this beautiful scene. And this one is actually one minute long. So it doesn't transform that much throughout the entire video. This one is a lot more trippy. I think this is the transform video effect which is absolutely insane. I wonder more things we can do with this. Here they started with this image and they have this prompt here that turns them into this underground cyberpunk. It's just really awesome. And I'll show you how to do this in a minute. Here's another video to video generation. It actually has a good consistency and I can't wait to actually play around with this. Here's another use case where they use an NFT and it's kind of warping in space and time, but actually being pretty consistent and obviously very cool. So let's start with text to video. So as you can see, we can use the flipbook style or the motion style for text to video. For transform, we can only use video. So let's go through these two options first. Let's do flipbook and start by just writing a prompt. Here you can start by writing what you want the video to be about. And I just asked Midjourney to create a futuristic cityscape with a twist. I'll paste that in there. And in the style of, you can always go to the right and use the styles that they have. I wanna try photorealistic that kind of pastes this style for you. And then I'll click on video settings. Since I have the free plan, I can only generate six seconds, but if I go pro, I can generate up to four minutes. I'll show you more about this in a second. Also, you can select a aspect ratio that you want. Let's do 16 by nine, as well as evolve. That makes it more crazy and with little, it makes it more stable. So we're just gonna put it on six for now. This is gonna cost six credits. So let's generate previews. You can now get ChatGPT inside of your phone keyboard. Just get Type AI on the App Store. Now we set up the AI keyboard. Go to settings and switch Type AI on. Look, I'll open notes and I'll write create a shopping list for a smash burger. I'll select all of it. Then I'm gonna click ask AI and it just did it without us having to leave the app. Or say on Twitter, you open it, give it a prompt ask AI, and it just wrote your tweet. If you use email, you can also ask it to rephrase it and continue generating results until you find one you like. You can also use it to check spelling and grammar, translate in seconds, or complete any message. Click the link in the description box below for a free trial of Type AI Premium. Thanks to Type AI for sponsoring this video. This is gonna cost six credits, so let's generate previews. This is something I really like about Kyber because you can see which one you like, like for example, this one, and then we select it and say that's the one we want to continue with. 
I would also love to try this, but we can do that later. Now just create a video. That took about 60 seconds to create, and here is the result. As you can see, this is the flipbook style, and we put the motion on pretty crazy, so it's flickering back and forth. I personally really enjoy this. However, there is the motion controls that zoom into the picture that I love the most, that I'll show you in a minute. But let's try the other text to video, the motion setting. We'll start writing a new prompt. I'll copy paste the exact same prompt. Apparently we can't, I'm gonna put cinematic this time as a style and click on video settings. As you can see, we can generate up to 15 seconds for free, but let's just keep it at seven, as well as the aspect ratio and the evolve. Let's put it at six again and let's generate. This one costs a lot more credits. 28 compared to the six that we used for the flipbook. It previewed almost exactly the same. However, I want to click on this one and it's kind of unfortunate we can't do the camera because I really love how it looks, but let's create the video. That took about two minutes and the results look like this. I really actually like this style. It's still very trippy. However, it's more smooth, but I wanna show you my favorite feature. But to do that, I need to go pro at 15 a month. So please like the video. There we go. Let's go to the next part, which is image to video. I'll select the flipbook again and click on image. I'm gonna upload this man with Steve Punk gear at Burning Man and click on edit your prompt. Now I wanna click on the auto fill prompt subject. As you can see, it auto generates the prompt here and they actually have a steampunk style. So I'm gonna to click on that, then click on video settings. And now that we have the paid version, we have a lot more to pick from. Specifically, my favorite, the camera movement. I'll show you the zoom in, as well as now we can generate up to eight minutes from the flipbook settings, but we're just gonna do 10 seconds about. Another pro settings is the show uploaded image in the first frame. This is what I love to do the most, so I'll toggle that on, as well as the Evolve can get too crazy a little bit, so let's keep it a little bit lower this time. If you want Boomerang, it goes back and forwards. I'll show you how that looks as well. We can also upload a song here, but I'll do that in another section of this video. Generate, here you can see all the different previews. I really like how detailed this guy is, so let's click on that one and create video. And here you have it. It just completely transforms into this cyberpunk city. All of a sudden he's trying to get this pipe in his mouth and then we got the boomerang going out as well. I don't know about you, but it just looks so cool. Especially cool to make for music videos that are just easy to make and you can generate it, as I said, eight minutes long. So I'll show you how to add music to this in a minute. Here I uploaded this image and it just completely changed into this Viking man. I tried this image as well that just turned so trippy. I don't know, it's just this style it just gets me. And I've used it in so many videos now because I just love how it looks like. But I haven't tried the motion one with an image to start. I'm gonna try one of my YouTube thumbnails, which should be quite hard for it, but let's see what happens. Let's click on the magic prompt again, and I'll add logos floating around in the style of illustration this time. Click on video settings, video duration eight seconds, evolve at four and motion. Let's keep that at basic as well. This one costs a little bit more again. And it seems like you can't start the image at the first image. So it might look a little bit worse. Let's generate. Okay, it doesn't look bad. I wanna try the last one here and click on create video. We also couldn't add any motion control to this. And here is the result. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I like this even more than the other one. It just looks really cool. It stays pretty consistent, like the hands don't move around too much. Man, I gotta test this with the most motion. Let's try cinematic, evolve at maximum and motion to maximum. This time let's pick this and generate. And now it looks like this in maximum settings and <laughs> movement. <laughs> I don't know, this looks so cool to me. I could easily see people using this in YouTube videos, in music videos, in all these different areas. And it looks a lot smoother than a lot of these other video generation softwares. 
So Kyber is definitely high up there for usability. And I'm gonna show you the price in just a second, but what about video to video? You can see this is the last one, the transform option besides the only audio option. Now I'm gonna drag a video in here, which looks like this. edit your prompt. And it seems like we can click the magic wand here again, but it got it wrong. So I'll write it myself and we'll try in the style of photorealistic and click on video settings. Here, there are two different settings, which is the evolve, we'll keep it at the basic and they have now version number two, which apparently is better We'll try both to show you what is actually true. Generate previews. And here we got one preview and it looks pretty bad. So I'm not even gonna render it. I'm gonna go back and try a different style. Let's do oil painting. Here is this preview. It really doesn't look good. Let's try to render it out maybe. And while we're waiting for this one, I'm gonna create a new one. This time I'll put a video of my face that looks like this, a man with a beard and a black shirt. I'll click on the steampunk set setting and go to video settings, keep everything on default and preview. Here's the preview we got, which looks a little bit better. Let's try that one as well. People's attention, people's attention. All right, the first result is in. Here we go. Definitely not so good, but I bet we can make it a lot better. Here is the second example. So right now I'm filming and I hope that I'm translating this into a... Very weird. It's like my mouth is not moving at all in the way that I'm, I'm speaking in this video. <laughs> but my eyebrows smile. Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of weird. I don't really know how they're doing this, but it's consistently holding a mouth closed. So I believe it to be better on like dance videos or something like that. So let's find one of those. Here's how this one looks like. Bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Edit your prompt. And here in the style of, we're just gonna do cyberpunk. See what happens then. Video settings. Let's evolve it at five, version two. Generate previews. Here's the preview that we got. Let's create it. Bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hey, the plot. Actually, I would love to see how it looks like when we do the flip book, because I'm not really impressed, to be honest. To be fair, every AI video software don't really do video to video that well. Okay, we can't actually do flip book as video. Maybe some of you can drop some comments down below on tips to make it better. But what happens when we do audio to video? I'm just gonna upload a song, edit your prompt. Okay, I'm gonna upload this song. <laughs> So let's see what happens. It gives me like lo-fi girl type vibes. I'll do this prompt and I'm gonna try the lost style this time. The video will be two minutes 60 because that's the length of the song. I'm also gonna put the camera movement inwards so we could use it as a music video. I'm also gonna turn the evolve kinda high because I really wanna see. And with the audio reactive, it basically means that the lower the camera moves less with your audio and the higher the camera moves more. I'm just gonna put it on high to see what happens. This is by far costing us the most credits, but it's because it's quite long. So let's preview. Oh my God. I had no idea it would be this nice. I really like this one. Let's try, I wanna try all of them. And because the video is so long, you can actually add new scenes. So we could create a new prompt like this. However, I'm just gonna keep it at the exact same and I'm gonna use some of the other generations as a second scene, third scene, so it actually changes over time. So I can put scene two, 30 seconds in, that looks like this, put a new scene, and put the next scene right here, generate previews, and I'm just gonna do three, four now, and create video. I'm gonna time exactly how long this takes, surprisingly, that took over 30 minutes to generate, but take a look at this. <music> So 
cool. I'm so happy that I prompted it well. It's like an amazing music video maker. You can also upscale it, but you might be wondering, what's the price? They have three different types of payment, monthly, annual, and credit packs. As you can see, you get 1,000 credits, 5,000 credits, and 10,000 credits. Now, this does not unlock some of the features from the pro plan. You would have to go into annual or monthly for that. As you can see, Explorer is $5, Pro is $10, and Artists is $25 if you go for the annual plan. If you go for monthly, it bumps up to $30 at the highest pricing plan. The biggest difference between the Explorer and the Pro is the one minute videos versus eight minute videos. On top of that, you get discounted credit packs as well as upscale to 1080p all the way to 4K. When you upgrade to the $30 package, the additional setting you will get is beta access to test drive new Kyber features as well as 25,000 credits. If you wonder how many credits I used, I believe I started at 1,700, so I used about 500 just for this video alone. So maybe that can tell you how far you can go with these credits. I'm excited to play more with Kyber. If you are too, like this video. I'm excited to play more with Kyber. And if you are too, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you wanna see how I ranked all AI video generators, click the video on the screen now, and I'll see you there.